Austin is the state capital of Texas, an inland city bordering the Hill Country region. Home to the University of Texas flagship campus, Austin is known for its eclectic live music scene centered around country, blues, and rock. Its many parks and lakes are popular for hiking, biking, swimming, and boating. It lies at the point where the Colorado River leaves the Edwards Plateau and was founded in 1839 and named after Stephen F. Austin, the father of Texas. Austin nowadays is an important administrative, educational, and cultural hub. The city is home to the University of Texas, Red Granite State Capitol, and the Bullock, Texas State History Museum. Lady Bird Lake, a river-like reservoir of the Colorado River, flows right by downtown and defines recreation in the area. The iconic Congress Avenue Bridge over the water houses millions of Mexican free-tailed bats, which emerge in the evenings to feed on the local mosquito population. Plan your trip with our video of top attractions and things to do in Austin. Before we get started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss our new upcoming videos. Number 1. The State Capitol The Texas State Capitol is the capital and seat of government of the American state of Texas. Located in downtown Austin, completed in 1888, the state capitol and its 22 acres of grounds and monuments and structure houses are the offices and chambers of the Texas legislature and of the governor of Texas. It is protected as a national historic landmark. The building impresses with its dimensions. At 308 feet tall, it ranks as the sixth tallest state capitol, taller even than the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C. Visitors can stroll the park via the tree-lined path called the Great Walk and admire the numerous monuments. A Texas African-American history memorial, the Vietnam War Monument, and a bronze statue of a Texas Ranger all capture attention along the Great Walk, as well as a miniature Statue of Liberty that was presented in 195 owned by the Boy Scouts of America. The Visitor Center is located on the grounds and features exhibits about the history of Austin and the state of Texas. This is a good place to begin exploring downtown Austin. Visitors are also welcome to take a self-guided tour anytime the Capitol is open. Free tours of the Capitol building are given daily, except holidays. Number 2. Lady Bird Lake The Lady Bird Lake was named after the wife of President Lyndon Johnson. The lake is actually a section of the Colorado River. This flowing reservoir covers 416 acres and has become one of the city's top attraction areas. Although lined with restaurants, hotels, coffee shops, and residential complexes, the majority of its shoreline is open to the public, with miles of excellent trails for pedestrians and cyclists. The main pedestrian path along the shores is the Ann and Roy Butler Hike and Bike Trail and Pedestrian Bridge, which crosses the river and connects downtown Austin with the southern shore. The paths connect many of the city's parks, including Zilker Metropolitan Park, the Town Lake Metropolitan Park's Vic Mathia Shores, Lemmer Beach, Butler Shores, Waller Beach, and Eilers Neighborhood Park. The Ann and Roy Butler Trail also leads to famous tourist sites near the river, like the Stevie Ray Vaughan statue, Congress Avenue Bridge, the Long Center of Performing Arts, and the Barton Springs Pool. Motor boats are not allowed in Lady Bird Lake. On the North Shore, the Texas Rowing Center provides kayak and canoe rentals and lessons. And on the Lake South Shore in Zilker Park, the rowing dock offers rentals and instruction for paddleboards, kayaks, and paddle boats. Number 3. See the bats from Congress Avenue Bridge. One of Austin's most unique things to do is enjoy the evening flight of the Mexican free-tailed bats that have made the Ann W. Richards Congress Avenue Bridge their home. The world's largest urban bat colony, up to one and a half million of these insect-devouring critters take to the sky at dusk each evening from March through November. The result is a stunning display as they fly from beneath the bridge and up to two miles high in massive formations so they can dine on mosquitoes, moths, grasshoppers, and other flying pests. It can take up to 45 minutes just for the fuzzy mammals to all exit their home. Once the pups, babies are old enough, they accompany their mothers on the evening flight. There are many vantage points from which you can enjoy the sight, with the area surrounding the bridge the most popular. Others enjoy watching from boats on Lady Bird Lake or from the Statesman Bat Observation Center, which sits at the southern end of the bridge. Number 4. Attractions at the University of Texas at Austin In addition to being the first of the Texas University System campuses, the University of Texas at Austin is home to several top tourist attractions. The Jack S. Blanton Museum of Art is a permanent collection of 17,000 pieces of European, American, and Latin American art. The museum also hosts numerous temporary exhibits. Also on campus is the Harry Ransom Center, 
which houses a permanent collection of rare literature and printed materials. The Ransom Center also has numerous temporary exhibits and collections on display. Among the museum's most prized pieces are a Gutenberg Bible from the mid-15th century and the first photograph, a heliograph developed on a pewter plate that was created in 1827 by Joseph Nice for Neves. The Texas Memorial Museum is part of the Natural Science Center at the University of Texas and features a huge collection of items representing the natural and cultural history of the Lone Star State. Highlights include numerous dinosaur displays, fossils, hymns, and minerals, as well as the famous Wichita County meteorite, a large space rock regarded as a medicine stone by Comanche Indians. Another impressive tourist site at the university is the landmark UT Tower, infamous for the tragic shooting in 1966. With a height of 307 feet, the tower provides beautiful 360-degree views of the city of Austin. Tours are self-guided and include information on the architecture and history of the structure. For sports fans, the spirit of Longhorn Athletics is unrivaled throughout the state. Football games at Darrell K. Royal Texas Memorial Stadium feature trembling bleachers and deafening crowds of pigskin fans. The university also just broke ground on the Moody Center Arena, future home of several events, including Longhorn basketball games. Number 5. Go for a dip at Barton Springs Pool. Although swimming in Lady Bird Lake is prohibited, nearby Barton Springs Pool in Zilker Park is Austin's favorite place to cool off. A spring-fed pool along Barton Creek. It covers an area of three acres and has an average temperature of 70 degrees year-round. Locals and tourists alike enjoy the grassy tree-lined perimeter and perfect water that reaches up to 18 feet deep. The area is also considered a protected habitat for the endangered Barton Springs salamander, which is only found in this specific aquifer. Because of the delicate balance between recreation and nature, the pool is closed for most of the day once a week for specialized cleaning that protects the wildlife from harsh chemicals while keeping swimmers safe. Number 6. Mount Bonal Mount Bonal, also known as Covert Park, is a prominent point alongside the Lake Austin portion of the Colorado River in Austin. It has been top tourist destination since the 1850. The mound provides a vista for viewing the city of Austin, Lake Austin, and the surrounding hills. Of the many best hiking trails in Austin, Mount Bonnell is one of the most popular with tourists because of its numerous photo ops and proximity to the city center. The highest point in the city, it reaches 775 feet and provides views of downtown Austin and the 360 bridges. It also looks out across the Colorado River and is the perfect place to take photos of Austin's skyline. Although the lookout deck and pavilion are at the top of 102 stairs, it is not a steep or strenuous climb. Pets are welcome on the path and on the observation deck, and many visitors enjoy picnicking while admiring the view. Expect to encounter crowds if visiting on the weekend. Number 7. Zilker Metropolitan Park Attractions Austin's most popular green space, the 351-acre Zilker Park is a favorite recreation area that sits alongside Lady Bird Lake. The park's grassy, expanses, and picnic sites are ideal for lazy afternoons, but there are also many recreational facilities for the public to enjoy. Riverside walking trails, volleyball courts, and a disc golf course are all within park boundaries. Zilker Park is also home to the Zilker Playscape, a large playground with its own section designed for kids aged 2 to 5 years. Kids will also love the Zilker Zephyr, a miniature train that runs along the water's edge. The park is also host to several major music events, including the Zilker Hillside Theater's annual Zilker Summer Musical, Blues on the Green, and the celebrated Austin City Limits Music Festival. The 26-acre Zilker Botanical Garden is the park's most beautiful area, open daily for a small entrance fee. Within, there are several individually themed gardens. There are also gardens dedicated to butterflies, cacti and succulents, herbs, and roses. The Austin Nature and Science Center is also on the grounds, open daily with no admission charge. It is celebrated for its interactive exhibits and programs, as well as its numerous trails and special events designed for all ages. Kids especially enjoy the Dino Pit, where they can be amateur archaeologists. The park grounds are also home to another one of Austin's top tourist attractions, the Umloft Sculpture Garden and Museum. Number 8. McKinney Falls State Park Another must-visit outdoor attraction in Austin is McKinney Falls State Park, home to one of the best waterfalls in Texas. In the southeastern corner of Austin, this natural landscape provides a perfect place to get away from the city and explore some of the most picturesque scenery in Texas. 
The state park has over 80 campsites available with water and electric hookups. Six cabins on site also provide a rustic way to spend the night. The 2.8-mile Onion Creek hike and bike trail is the main corridor for exploration, with many side trails leading off from the gravel path. Number 9. Trip to Texas Hill Country In the west of city, the sprawling Texas Hill Country sits atop the plateau and invite visitors day trips from Austin. This beautiful area has a strong German heritage, as can be seen at prominent places to visit like New Braunfels. Other fun cities to visit in Texas Hill Country include Fredericksburg and Wimberley, with many charming places to stay. These destinations are also some of Austin's best weekend trips. Outdoor activities are abundant in Texas Hill Country. Popular recreation destinations include Hamilton Pool, Enchanted Rock, and Petternales Falls. Thanks to a unique limestone bedrock, Texas Hill Country is also home to all the best caverns in Texas. Subterranean spaces open to the public here include Innerspace Cavern and Cave Without a Name. 